right, who designed this wine opener? A 36 year old woman. And I can't get my wine open. This is sad. Welcome to the video, my name is Alex, and today we are talking about another flower favorite, yarrow. Now if you watched my most recent July garden update, you know that this is the year that I have fallen in love with yarrow. And it's actually been a plant in the past that's given me a lot of problems. But I changed a few things up this year and I have had the healthiest yarrow that I've ever grown. So I'm really excited to share that with you and talk about all the beauty and benefits that come with growing yarrow. So let's get into it. So yarrow is a perennial. It grows best in zones three through nine and it likes full sun and well-draining soil. Okay, this is a plant that does not like its roots to stay wet. But other than that, this is really not a fussy plant. It's fairly low maintenance. They have this really pretty fern-like foliage and the flowers are kind of like these rolling hills of color. And if you look closely at the blooms, they're like these giant clusters of small daisy-like flowers. I did once hear someone refer to yarrow as having the smell of like wet feet, which I don't 100% agree with, um, but it definitely doesn't have like a floral scent. It's not sweet smelling. It has a lot of medicinal uses, so it doesn't smell pretty. But as the same person pointed out, it doesn't really matter that we like the smell of it because insects and pollinators love it. And that is honestly my favorite thing about growing yarrow is how many beneficial insects and bugs and pollinators it attracts to the garden. I am someone who does not use any chemicals or insecticides. I don't really use soaps even if they're labeled organic and okay to use. I avoid all of it and I do deal from time to time with different garden pests. The, the aphids, for whatever reason, love my dahlias. I've never really had anything get like super out of control. It is just more of an annoyance to deal with than like a huge infestation. I have a lot of different natural tactics that I use um, with like trap crops and companion planting and then planting specifically plants that attract all of the beneficial bugs that are natural predators to the bad bugs, right? So yarrow, I mean, I can go out into the garden at any time and it is just swarmed by lacewings, hoverflies, ladybugs, wasps, butterflies, bumblebees. And because it attracts so many natural predators to these bad bugs, it doesn't really get infested by pests. So I think that I will start planting these guys in my dahlia bed, just so you know I'm not doing all the fighting by myself. You can start your seeds indoors about six to 10 weeks before your last frost. And just remember that they do need light to germinate, so you don't wanna cover them. It's funny because yarrow is supposed to be one of those flowers that is super easy to start from seed. But for whatever reasons, I have just had so much trouble with it the last few years. My plants are usually leggy, they don't germinate, the blooms have been really small, they just don't look healthy. But this year I did things a little bit differently and I started my seeds in seed blocks instead of in a seed tray. And my plants have been perfect. When I transplanted them out into the garden, they didn't really seem to experience any kind of shock. They never got leggy. They stayed really compact and just like fluffy. It is seriously the healthiest yarrow I've ever grown. So if you are someone who is also struggling with yarrow and reading online that it's like really simple to grow, don't worry, <laughs> you are not alone. And I would probably suggest trying seed blocking instead of traditional cell trays. 
So I did cut a few from my own garden this morning so I could give you an example of what I'm growing this year. Yarrow comes in so many different varieties and colors. So I have a pastel mix. Why, hello there. I just wanted to interrupt this very informative video to introduce a fun little drinking game. One where you treat yourself to a delicious glass of wine for every time that I refer to a color of yarrow as being really pretty. And so in that, most of the colors that I got were kind of this really pretty white, this like light pink color, and this really pretty pastel yellow. So then the other mix that I have are all different shades of like berry colors. We have this like really pretty kind of a dark pink and then there's sort of different shades of purple. I don't know what color you would call that, kind of like a grape, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I'm not very good at describing colors, but this is kind of like a grape purple. And then I have this lighter shade of purple. So really pretty. Obviously when you buy like a mix of yarrow, it's really fun because you get different colors and they all kind of go together. I love it. Yarrow is also known as a clumping flower. So you can actually dig up your yarrow and divide your plants every three to five years and it's supposed to keep them really healthy and reinvigorate the plants that you have as well as giving you more plants. So that's a win-win. Something to keep in mind is that yarrow does spread very easily. And so if you wanna keep it contained and keep it from spreading like wild in your yard, I would say just make sure that you're keeping up with deadheading it and not letting it go to seed. That way it doesn't spread everywhere. And then finally, if you're growing it for a cut garden, I would recommend cutting it in the cool parts of the day so early morning or in the evening that way it doesn't wilt and then much like zinnia is giving it the wiggle test so if you wiggle the stem and the flower head goes kind of floppy it's not quite ready to be cut but if it's nice and sturdy like this one then it's good to go also if you'd like it does make a really gorgeous dried flower so just hang it upside down somewhere in a cool place to dry and let it work its magic and yeah, it'll be really beautiful and last forever. So just like get wild with your yarrow, right? And that's all I have today for my new favorite flower. If there is another flower that you would like me to talk about next, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you in the next one. Add a baby, add a baby. Oh no. <laughs> the universe telling me I don't need to drink on a Monday. Oh. Yes. I'm gonna drink this whole bottle. You better believe it.